Hi everybody, Solomon here with Eastern Florida Pythons and we are just about to head up to Daytona Beach, Florida for the Daytona National Reptile Breeders Expo. I'm super excited about this show. I cannot wait to go up there. We're actually vending. I have one table up there. It's my first time doing it, so we're going to see how it goes. I'm bringing some snakes. I don't have a ton of them, but I'm bringing what I've got. And I'm also bringing a bunch of sculptures, and I'm really excited to share those with a bunch of people. Uh, but uh, I have to get a video out for you guys for this Sunday, which you guys are be watching it while I'm actually at the show and I thought I'd show you guys what has been going on in my personal life uh, outside of just like a themed video because I told you guys in the last video that I've been trying to want to make some changes I want to show you some more vlog type stuff where you're going to see some snake stuff you're also going to see some non stink stuff uh, just some things that I've been going through uh, in the personal life here and there and uh, yeah, I hope I hope you guys enjoy it I hope it's a little more entertaining get to see a different side of the, the the Eastern Florida Python's business side and whatnot well uh, Hobby side at this point because uh, <laughs> of where where we're at, but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this Let's get into this video Hi, I'm Solomon and you're watching Eastern Florida Python's and Wildlife Adventures July 20th, our air conditioner went out in the house, and this is the temperature it was on around 9 o'clock at night. And we ended up having to suffer through that uh, for about a month. Um, we did go to Home Depot and buy three air conditioning window units, uh, which were kind of got us by until we were able to finally get an AC unit, an actual real AC. But uh, it still kept our temperatures during the day in the high 80s in the house, except for maybe a bedroom or two. But uh, we were thankful for the window units, and we did have a lot of people that really helped, and we were really grateful for all the help that we got. But it was really hot during all that time. All right, today's the day we're getting our AC installed. There's the old unit right there. It's just got pulled out. There's the new air handler right here. And they just drug the new AC back there. Now they're starting to put that in. So, after four weeks of suffering with these window units, which have not really been very helpful. They've, they've, we've survived on them. We're finally getting full AC in our house. Thank you to everybody that's helped us out financially, bought snakes and everything. You've been a great help. Towards the end of July, we vended a reptile show in Orlando and did pretty awesome. It was really cool. I was able to bring some sculptures and it was beautiful little glitches very first reptile show where she was on display in her very beautiful display case that was built specifically for her she had plenty of room to explore and like i said this was built specifically for her to kind of grow into and be able to be seen at the shows and i had one display case full of snakes and that was it but it was a great Kramer, the famous wild rat snake, showed back up into my rat shed this month. He's very rare when during the summertime. He doesn't come around much during the heat. Part of it, I believe, is he's out looking for females, and he just goes out and explores and finds food elsewhere. Uh, he is typically in the shed all winter, uh, getting free handouts for food every once in a while, and he, I have a water bowl in there for him, too, where he can get water anytime he wants to. But he was in there. And so it was a nice little treat to finally get to see him during the summer. So I got a little bit of footage of him trying to make his escape up into the attic area of the shed. And I just really love seeing this guy. He's really cool.
still doing a few ball python pairings, and this is one of the pairings I'm really excited about. This is a pied 100% het clown being bred to a pastel 100% double het clown pied. So I'm really hopeful that I'll get a clutch out of these two. I didn't last year. Uh, the female it reabsorbed, but we'll see how it goes this year. She's looking a lot bigger and a lot thicker, and she's been doing really well. So hopefully we'll get some this year. We'll see what happens. This cottonmouth sculpture is one of the earliest ones I've ever done. In fact, it's the second sculpture I ever made. And I actually have done a few improvements on it over the years, including repainting the head and the body, as well as making this base and, and sinking it in resin. But it needed an upgrade because I have my skills in painting have drastically increased. So I want to do an upgrade. So check this out. So talk about an, a glow up. Now this thing looks so much more realistic. I added a lot more details to the head. I changed up the eyes a little bit. I also added duckweed. Uh, painted that on to the resin so the water looks like there's duckweed on top of the water. I actually made it to look like there's duckweed stuck to the snake. Uh, there's even a piece stuck to his head. I added resin inside the mouth to give it more of a wet look to it. There's resin in between the coils of the snake too, so it looks like the water has pulled up there. It is absolutely much bigger of a difference than there was. This is going to be at Daytona, and I've already got some people that want to come look at it. I'm very excited about this, thing, this particular sculpture. finally got our third ovulation of the 2023 season. I know this is a late season, but this is a black pewter clown female. She was bred to my GHI Mojave clown as well as a pastel spot nose clown. So I'm really excited about this all clown clutch coming up. Just waiting on this prelay shed. Alright everybody, this concludes today's video. I know it's a little different than any other video I've ever posted on this channel. But if you watched my last video, you know that I have been wanting to do something different and make things a little bit more entertaining and a more vlog-like. So this definitely fits that bill. As you can see, we had a pretty interesting situation happen uh, starting in the middle part of July when we lost our air conditioner. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty toasty uh, up until we finally got our air conditioner put uh a new air conditioner installed so uh, we're really grateful to have that in and thank you all to everybody that sent well wishes and were able to either send us some money to help us or you guys bought some animals that was really really helpful so thank you for that um, and uh, yeah so you guys are watching this while I am probably getting packed up at the Daytona reptile or national reptile breeders expo um so hopefully be watching out there will be a new video for that coming soon probably won't be next weekend we'll see because this is going to be a lot of editing but uh, i will be probably doing a new video from that and i hope you guys like this new style i know i do and i will see you guys on the next video don't forget share this video like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys soon take care bye, -bye. thank you for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon so you know when I upload a new video. If you want to see some more really cool content, here's an awesome playlist and here's a video suggestion. Check these out.